guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, well then welcome to my channel. I really appreciate you stopping by and I really hope you stick around. Today's video is going to be about how I address any type of lower back pain. I think that if you're over the age of 40, actually I don't think lower back pain really discriminates against age, but I think you really start to kind of notice it somewhere in your early to mid 30s. And so I'm just gonna show you some of the exercises that I do in order to kind of relieve and release some of that tension and tightness that's causing me discomfort. Now I do wanna mention that whenever you're doing these exercises, you don't ever want to overstretch because you're just gonna compound the problem, but you just kind of wanna stretch until you are kind of comfortably uncomfortable, if that makes sense. But I think that if you do these exercises faithfully, ideally weekly, then you can really increase your lower back range of motion, and that's really gonna help to relieve and just kind of release any of that tightness and tension that's going on in your lower back. So um, I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the easiest stretch first, and then we will work our way up to the more complicated stretches. Now this stretch is called the knee to chest stretch, and it looks exactly the way that it sounds. So all you're gonna do is you are going to lie on your back, and you're gonna bend your knees, and you're gonna to start to bring them up to your chest. Now you want to interlace your fingers around your knee, or you can clasp your wrists, and you just really want to bring your knees to your chest. Now, you really want to concentrate on stretching that lower back. You're gonna be able to feel it for sure, but you do not wanna overstretch. You always, you should definitely know your limits, and like I said, you should always only stretch until you feel comfortably uncomfortable. And you're gonna to wanna to hold these stretches for at least, um, typically I will just take four really deep breaths. That's usually how I gauge how long I've been um, holding a stretch. And so that's what you're gonna to wanna to do. Do not forget to breathe. It's very important to continue to breathe. And that is the knee to chest stretch. Okay, so this next stretch is called the cat cow stretch. And all you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to get on all fours and you want your knees to be just hip width apart and you want your hands flat on the ground and you want them to be just shoulder width apart. Now all you're gonna do here is you're really going to accentuate the curve of your back as far as you can, and you're just gonna hold that pose. And like I said, you wanna hold each pose for about four deep breaths. And then you wanna move into the cat pose. And all you're gonna do here is you're really going to round your back and you're really gonna tighten those core muscles and just hold that there. You can really feel the stretch in your lower back. And again, you're gonna breathe four deep breaths. want to do those three times each. Okay, so this next exercise is called the upward dog, and this is really good for your lower back. All you're going to want to do is you're going to lay flat on your chest, and you're going to take your hands, you're going to put them down on either side of your chest, and you're going to just push up as far as you can until you really accentuate the curve of your back, and you're going to hold that position for four deep breaths. And that's the upward dog. And you're gonna do that three times. Okay, so this next stretch is called the seated twist. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to bend your left leg and you're gonna take that foot and you're gonna place it over your right leg and you're gonna plant it on the floor right next to your right knee. Then you're gonna take your right elbow and you're gonna place it on the outside of your left knee and you're gonna to wanna to straighten that arm out. You're going to take your left hand and you're going to place it as far back behind your back as you possibly can. Then you're going to use your knee to push off of with your elbow to get a really nice twist in. And you're going to hold that for four deep breaths. And 
then you want to do the other side. So you're going to take your right leg and you're going to bend it. You're going to take it and put it over your left leg and then really plant your foot right on the ground next to your left knee. Then you're going to take your left elbow, put it on the right side of your right knee, straighten that arm out, take your right hand, put it as far back as you can, and then really twist. And again, four deep breaths. And then you're going to do that three times on each side, and that is the seated twist. Okay, so this is another stretch that I really like to do in order to relieve myself of any type of back discomfort. This one is called Thread the Needle, and this is actually my favorite. It's a little bit complicated, so hopefully I'll be able to walk you through it properly. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to get up on all fours, and again, knees are going to be hip width apart, arms shoulder width apart. You're going to take your right hand, and you're going to put it under your body with the palm side up. You can go ahead and put the back of your hand on the ground and just go ahead and slide that until your shoulder comes all the way down to the ground. Then you're going to want to take your left arm and you're going to take it all the way up above your head and you're going to hold this pose for four breaths. Then you're going to bring this arm in, push yourself up, and then you're going to go ahead and do the other side. So you're going to take your left arm this time, palm up all the way underneath you, slide the back of your hand onto the ground until your shoulder comes all the way down. Then you're going to take your right arm, take it all the way up above your head, palm down. And you're going to hold that again for four breaths. And you want to do that three times on each side, and like I said, hold each pose for four breaths. Okay, so the last stretch that I'm going to do for you, it's called the puppy pose. And this one actually stretches your upper and lower back. Again, you're going to get up on all fours with your knees hip width apart, and this time you're just going to slide your hands forward until your chin comes down to the ground, just like this. And you're going to hold it for four breaths. And then you can just lean back into yourself and bring yourself up. And that one is called the puppy pose, and you're going to want to do that stretch three times for four breaths. So that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Those are just some of the stretches that I do whenever I'm experiencing any type of lower back pain or pressure or tightness or stiffness or anything like that. Um, so I hope this helps you. And if all else fails, you can always grab a glass of wine because a little birdie told me one time that wine is a really good pain reliever. That's interesting. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. It's Friday. Have a glass of wine. Have a good weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.